Hey guys, it's John, and welcome to my playthrough of the My Friendly Neighborhood demo. This uh, just came out a couple days ago, and it's for an upcoming horror game about a family puppet show, sort of like Sesame Street, that has a dark underbelly. So it was developed by John and Evan Zemanski, who have both, I believe, made games for the Dread X collections, published by Dread XP. This game is also going to be published by Dread XP. Uh, and there's no release date right now, but we're gonna check out the demo. Uh, a little fun fact for you, the, uh, the brothers, John and Evan, are actually, uh, have a third brother that makes games, David Zemanski, who you may know as the developer of a game called Dusk. Retro first-person shooter, very popular game. Also made Finger Bones and The Moon Sliver and The Music Machine, a lot of games we played on the channel years ago. Anyway, let's go ahead and start a new game. Welcome to the neighborhood. Uh... Wow, we're just starting off with a bang, huh? Well, no getting back up that way. Alright, Harrison Ford. Are you okay there? Do you need a cough drop? Do you need to drink some water, Gordon? There's no way back up the slide. Have you never been a child before? Look at this adorable character, trying to teach us, uh... A kindergarten lesson, ABC one, two, three. But we're not ready for that. What is this gun that I have? It's locked from the other side. Seriously, what is this gun? Does it fire like pick a number like lobby cards at people? <laughs> what is that? Take your ticket, sir. Oh dear, oh my. You seem to be stranded in the basement. How do I get out of here, Ricky? Oh, having a clue. Never come down here myself. Why? What's got your overalls in a knot? I'm trying to get to the roof. The roof? <laughs> Look, you gotta give up this nonsense about the antenna. Looks what? very bad. Very unprofessional. It's my job. Look, Gordy, I know our routine's a little rough, but don't judge a show by its pilot. Incidentally, I would hide again. What is it this time? Well, Ray, of course. He's the best sort of monster janitor thing, but doesn't like it when people intrude on his territory. Tends to get a bit grouchy. One might say, assault happy? Great. Are all of you puppets crazy? Well, Ray has always been a little grouchy, even before the shutdown. That's why they moved him down here. Only way out is by elevator, and he can't figure out how to use the buttons. Didn't help, though. He goes through the pipes. Elevator. Got it. Oh, silly me. I forgot about the elevators. Really, Gordon, I wouldn't bother. The cables are probably rusted. I don't think they even run anymore. I'll take my chances. Wow, you're so courageous and stuff. Look, I gotta go wash my hair. Oh, yeah? All five strands of it? I agree, Gordon. Um, I didn't get... Most of that. It seems like this is one of those demos that starts in the middle of the story instead of at the very beginning of the game. So if you're confused, don't worry. I am too. Duct tape. Magazine. Oh, okay. So I got ammo. What's the ammo? What am I shooting? Hang on. Oh, you shoot like a metal ring. Oh, I see. That's what you shoot. That little thing right there. Okay. Let's go over here first. Oh! Oh! But it made it pretty clear you were supposed to go through that door. Is she saying gobble gobble? So that's a diamond, and it's locked. Uh... What the hell? Rode home on the bus, did my homework, and went to bed early. I used to be responsible. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I'm, I'm going out. I'm leaving. Okay. Were they trying to teach me things while running at me aggressively? I could have sworn that they were saying like random educational garbage. Let's go through this door. Yeah, she was, uh, she was 
phone with these days, so... Oh, maybe I can uh, talk to my, my Echo. Hello! Oh, oh, oh do, hey there! Do you see me? Are you friendly? So nice to meet you. Something tells me you're not. Welcome, welcome to, to our, our... I want to make new friends! No you don't, no you don't, no you don't! Get out of my face, dude! Let's be excellent! Let's be excellent! Let's be excellent. Was there's a stage this way? <laughs> okay, this is. I am gonna leave my thoughts for the end. I am gonna I'm gonna leave my thoughts for the end on the inspiration behind this. But color me impressed so far. When enemies are knocked over, you can tape them. Look at an enemy and press E. So like you, oh, so I can I can tape him too. So that's what the tape is for. That's cool. Otherwise they come back. I don't have a map. I pressed R to reload and it says I don't have a map. Oh, you just click again and you reload. Got it. Were these were these mice things? Inspect. Ooh, magazine. Choco zip. Candy bar. So how do you, oh, I press tab, it's got an, it's got a Resident Evil 4 style, <laughs> it's got a Resident Evil 4 style briefcase. Well, how much do, how much health does this restore, I guess? I don't know. What about this? Oh, that gave me like a full health state back. I don't think the candy bar did. Um, okay, and then this is my ammo. I see. They're different letters. Well, I mean, we obviously got to move that, and then I've got a token. Okay. Interesting. Have a smiling day. This is so bendy in the ink machine. Except it's like actually funny and interesting. Okay, I'm gonna I'm, again. I'm gonna leave my thoughts for the end. I'm going to leave my thoughts for the end. Not right now. Okay. Who hey. is doing that? Who's there? Hello? What is... Oh. Oh my god. There is no way I'm supposed to read this note? With this happening in the background. Okay, it's rain, Ricky. You know, pause it if you want to read it. I don't know. I, maybe I can read it later. What is happening? Press the button? Was that Ray? Jeez, that gave me a scare. What was that? That was Ray, dude. He travels through the pipes, just like Ricky said. Can't you keep all these characters straight? Uh, looks like part of it's missing. So this is a puzzle of some kind. Oh, okay, we need to find two pieces to actually put into the computer. Where's where's that? <sighs> Is it, wait, there's a projector here. Is there a flashlight? Oh, if you press F, it brings up the file. The accordion folder here, okay. Let's read this. Ricky enters Ray's set, looking around for Ray. This is episode 27, by the way. Oh boy, where's Ray? Ray, Ray! The room shakes and water splashes down from the ceiling. Oh my goodness, what is happening? Ray emerges from his pipe, holding a plunger. There you are. Ray, what is going on? Ray grumbles and points with plunger. What? People are trying to get rid of their problems by flushing them down the toilet? Laundry? Taxes? Blackmail? Ray, these are parts of life. You can't just ignore them. The song number, Don't Flush Away Your Problems. As the song ends, the room shakes and water splashes down from the ceiling. Ray, if we don't get this problem taken care of, won't the whole sewer system explode? Destroying the entire city? Wow, they got big problems here. Much bigger than on Sesame Street, I have to say. Okay, well, this was fun. Stop, let's fix. I'm, I'm just looking around to see if there's anything that I can pick up. I guess we gotta get like, we gotta get some kind of, um, <laughs> bonk, go to horny jail. We gotta get some kind of, uh, oh my god, I'm not reading all this. Piece for the puzzle? I don't know. We, I, I need more. The mail comes I just taped you guys up. I look out the window, waiting for the moment it appears. 
Oh my then, god, they dress, still talk! We rush outside to see what I got! Ma, 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 ma. Oh! Uh, uh, is that an insta kill? So leaping can be the best part of your day. Oh my god, this is so bizarre and cool. I love it. All right, let's go. Hey, what's up? Oh, shapes. Uh, looks like it needs power. That's the that's the piece that we need up there. Oh no, I didn't mean to shoot that. Does it, sh it shoots? Does it shoot a letter? It shot a Q. It shoots the letter that it has out at the at the enemies that is funny i'll take the tokens and the health will lax and let's check this out check it's locked we need a key to turn on the power gotcha tools what is this there are shelves i guess i will take that thank you this is the map and we press R to use the map. Oh, okay. Okay, wait. Square plus two, triangle minus one, O plus six. So is it the type of thing, it's like, square has four sides, so four plus two is six. Triangle is three sides, so three minus one is two. Circle has zero, so it's six. So is it six, two, six? I actually don't know. Oh, you can save or heal. Feels kind of Bioshocky, which honestly, Bendy always felt Bioshocky to me. Underutilized potential. Let's go ahead and save, actually. I've got three saves, and it's just the demo. Another day, another dollar. Okay, thank you. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go try to find some stuff. I need to get. Oh. No, you can't use that. Danger, this machine is remotely controlled and may start without warning. Oh, we can't go in there. Uh-oh, don't fall. Uh, you look like you jumped off those stairs, dumbass. How'd that happen? Don't fall, it's so easy, even I could do it. All right. Well, this has been a great time. Let's go in here. Oh, right, we're back in here. Let's... <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god, look! He's ready. I'm pretty sure that's like an instant kill. You know what? Let's try it. Let's try it. I just saved. Let's see what happens when we walk right in front of it. Wait. Can I shoot him? Oh, you can shoot him away! Okay, well next time I'll let him get us. Maybe. Maybe I'll let him get us. I don't know. I feel like I need a flashlight or something. Is that unreasonable? Right. Oh my god. Y'all are crazy. Y'all are crazy, dude. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Okay, so they're like, they're out right now, but look at the W and the X, that's just amazing. They're out right now, but we need to get some tape. There's a chain over the handle. I don't have any more duct tape, that's the problem. Yeah, there's, a, there's just a scene in R just lying on the ground. I love the mice. I feel like as soon as I leave the room, they're gonna come back later. So you gotta be careful with your tape um, rationing. You've gotta ration your tape. All right, um, I'll just go in here then, I guess. Okay. Thank you. Note from Hank. Mr. Al. I was hanging around the office last night to keep the pipes from freezing, so I had the time to work out the kinks on our latest project. The output is pretty flashy, and I just realized this is a real person I'm voicing and not a Muppet, so I probably shouldn't use a Muppet voice for it. My mistake. But it should be useful for stunts, special effects, etc. I blasted a couple Normans with it, and they seemed to have fun flying across the room. Used up a lot of letters though, so try to conserve ammo. 
By the way, a few of the employees might notice their typewriters are missing. Hank. Okay. Interesting. They seem to have fun flying across the room. Okay, so you were using letters from typewriters. I see. Oh. Shells. Are there multiple weapons? Oh, oh. That's a file with nothing in it. So I can't, I can't help but notice that I'm getting magazines for this pistol weapon, and then there's also shells. <gasps> for a shotgun. Let's get writing. Let's get writing. How is this game so perfect? Press one and two to switch between the Rolodexer and the Novelist. That is great. Okay, so this is like a loot room, basically. Duct tape. I love it. So if you don't tape them up, they come back. Yeah, this is just a, a loot room, which is totally fine. It's totally fine to be a loot room. You can be a loot room if you want to. It's your life. You can do whatever you want with it. Locked from the other side. Huh, okay, so see, now we're going back. And they're back, because I didn't tape them up. Tape her up. <laughs> See, I taped her up, so now we just got the one to, to worry about, which is totally fine. Uh, so these pipes are just everywhere, huh? Oh my god, I can't go up. You can't jump? I kind of wish you could jump. Benny. Could you walk me home after the shoot today? I'm feeling a little unsettled after that mugging on Great Street a couple nights ago. It seems like the city is getting more and more violent every day. Sometimes I feel like the only safe place is the neighborhood. I know it's silly, but it'd mean a lot to me. Mr. Gerswald usually lets me go around 6.30. Meet me in the office lobby? Julia. Oh, and then there's a little heart there. It didn't say that in the subtitles. There's a little heart there. Uh, okay. Nice. Oh, and the map gives you progress. That's great. I like that a lot. All right. Look at all these. Yeah, you want you want to loot? We got you covered. Uh. <laughs> uh. Okay. Yeah. The metal piece. I got the metal piece. Look at it. I thought I had to get it from that puzzle. No? I guess not. Let's test this out. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Okay, yeah. There's a chain over the handle. Can you shoot the chain? No. Now, I've, I've taken out all the Muppets. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna let him, dude, I'm not gonna let him kill me. For birds, you can bring sunflower seeds. I haven't saved in a while. Okay, the stage is that way. I can't remember where anything is. Let, let me check, well, maybe I should check my map, actually. So, I'm here right now. You can see there's a little, little dude with a mustache and a baseball cap on. So this is, uh, in progress still. Right, let's see, can I put my metal piece here? Try to insert, the plug seems incomplete. So how do I, this is a metal piece. I assume that I could put the metal piece in, uh, like into this, like, cause it's got, it's got like circular uh, inserts. And so you, you push all the buttons with it. I thought that's what you do, is that not what you do? And then maybe you play Plinko, you get values for these and then you use that to, to get these. I've got four saves? Oh, the tokens are for saving. They're like ink ribbons. I just understood that. So, for every token that you have, that's how many times you can save. When you go to the park, bring some food for all the wild animals. For birds, you can bring sunflower seeds. For squirrels, you can bring peanuts. For dogs, squirrels. For dogs, you can bring squirrels? She said for squirrels, you can bring peanuts. For dogs, you can bring squirrels. 
Ah, that's what this is for. Where's, oh, where's shoot. The What's the alphabet? Wait, what? That's easy. It's what words are made out of. Oh, you mean like <coughs> the that I see in my books? <laughs> I, remember <that laughs> I like how he English just form? goes back and forth <laughs> like the wacky waving inflatable flailing arm tube man. Hi. <laughs> I'm a friend. <laughs> I'm sure you are. <laughs> no, what? Oh my god. You're terrifying in the dark. Why don't we keep hanging out together? <laughs> I'm actually just gonna leave. I'm amazed at how many voice lines they have. They have tons of voice lines. Okay, I'm going to go put this in now. We're gonna get our first puzzle done. Thank you. Okay. No? Hmm. What? What is that? A punch card. Wait. Oh, you have to use the punch cards to activate these. Oh! To all construction personnel, due to the ongoing renovation of the deeper stages, a high security door has been installed to keep puppets out of the construction zone. Every employee has been issued a set of punch cards for opening the door. If you lose your punch cards, this machine can be used to generate replacements. Okay, so we, so we need punch cards. Right, 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 right. Um, so three, 10, and then this says nine, but then there's a red X over it. Let's take a look at um, the hint that it has up here. Three, 10, and nine, and then you've got You've got this key right here. Oh, I see. This is telling you the values. So in order, okay. So actually, in order to get three, we would need to do square, square, triangle. Two plus two minus one is three. So square, square, triangle is the code for the left one. And then for 10, you'd want to do um, circle, square, square to make 10. I see. So you're gonna be pressing square a lot. And then for nine, I assume, how would you get nine? Understood, I completely understand now, completely. All right, so you do that one and you get this punch card. I already have a card, oh, I'm sorry. Can we, can we discard this one? Cause it's wrong. Thanks, I want this one. So this one's, this one should be three. Ah, and then it tells you, yeah. Good, good, good. So, square, or sorry, circle, square, square. A, a circle is not a square. Maybe I need the Muppets to teach me something, damn. All right. Right, so you get six, and then two, and two. Oh, so then to get nine, you do triangle, triangle, triangle. Or, actually, seven is circled. So you would just do all three. So you do six, eight, minus one, seven. It'd be more interesting, I think, to, to do nine and have to do minus one, minus one, minus one. That'd be funny, at least. Cool. It's open. Wow. I wonder how deep this goes. These catwalks, very poppy playtime. The only game with catwalks, the poppy playtime chapter one, 12 minute demo. No other games have catwalks, except for that one. All right, let's go here first. There's a boat here. Do I want to drive this? Uh-oh, deep in stinky water. Ooh. All right, well, never mind. Do I want to drive it? Or do I want to look around first? Um. We'll go in here. If you can draw, you can do all sorts of things. Oh my god. Let's go on an adventure. Hmm. Do I, I don't have any tape. I have no tape. 
Uh, no! <laughs> you asshole! <laughs> I love to see! Oh my god. Oh, she's way over there. I don't think we need to waste uh, ammo on her just yet. Would love to have some more duct tape. But maybe if I just rationed it earlier instead of spending it all in the first area. Do I go this way? Hmm. Okay, I've got I've got an idea. I'll just go in here. I don't want to go confront her yet when I don't have to. This is where I came in! No! No, they're back! I'm stealthing! That's my idea of stealthing. Oh. Uh. <laughs> okay, so this is a triangle. There was like a red diamond door earlier. This is a green triangle one here. Will you? Oh my gosh. Give me, give me, stop. Oh my god. This is crazy. <laughs> Farewell. There's nothing. Oh, the toolbox is, uh, you know what? Let's heal. Let me heal up, please. Healed. Thank you. Oh, I probably should have looked at that. It probably said some cool stuff on it. I can't help but notice these, uh, there's nothing in there yet. Ooh. Well, there's not nothing in there. I don't have the key to see if there's anything in there. Like, I can't use them yet. This is the other side. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, we need the red diamond key and the green triangle key. Huh. Locks with an electronic latch. <gasps> Frank! Ray seemed pretty interested in the sewers lately, so I went ahead and hid the door's fuses in those lock boxes around the basement. There's one in this hall, puppet storage, the locker room, and the hangout by the punch card machines. Data has been added to your map. Thank you so much. And we got the lockbox key. Now... Strange kind of breaker box. Okay, we can't really interact with it yet. Right, because we gotta get all four of them... Mm-hmm. Don't do it. Okay, so... So the first one's right here. So we get this. That's the fuse, and that goes on the third one. Do I have to keep track? So they each have specific ones that they go in. Oh, they have symbols. Okay, so the heart goes on the third. I gotcha. Okay. When are you gonna come to life? It's like every time you pass a zombie in like a Resident Evil game that's on, just, on, just on the ground and you're like, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Like, I'm buying this. Oh my gosh. We'll just stun him. Let's be excellent. Let's be excellent. Let's be excellent. Let's be excellent to each other. There's a guy up there now. What? There's multiple. They weren't here before. Okay. Y'all, let's go to the boat. I'm ready to go to the boat. This is actually a very long demo. I like it. Okay, let's go. Do I not have boat keys? <gasps> um... Where am I? There's a heal station. No? Tape, yes! Unlock. <gasps> Fast travel. I forgot 
where I'm supposed to go. Hall, puppet storage, locker room, hang out by the punch card machines. Locker room, I believe this is the locker room right here. I just wanted to check and make sure. Yeah, it is. Oh boy. Right here. Get this, so the diamond is for the second one. Diamond is for the second one, okay, got it. Oh, here we go. Okay, so the spade is the last one. Diamond second, spade fourth. Two of diamonds, four of spades. Let's go. Okay, now I need to go this way. This is puppet storage over here. Watch out. This is where the last lockbox is. Mmm. I have expected to, like, get back from the lockbox and they're all staring at me. That would have been crazy, but a little expected, so... Don't do it. <laughs> How dare you? Okay, so... The Two of Diamonds. Oh, it's already, it's like in default. Right hand door unlocked. Nice. Okay, so now what? I learned my numbers when I was a kid. <laughs> Here, let me show you how I learned. <laughs> I'm a friend, Zoe! <laughs> I learned my numbers when I was a kid. Oh, the bolt cutters. For the chain, why is this one made of stone? <laughs> I learned my numbers when I was a kid! There's a cigarette here, that's not very child friendly. So we can go back and we can cut the chains, right? Uh, oh, there's stuff up here actually, ooh. health o -lax. let's take a look. Oh, uh, no, no! I'm starting to get a little full. Literally full of shit. Wait, what? Where does this one go? Here's another one, uh, another boat. I'm just looking around. There's like a Liberty Bell here for no reason. All right, let's go. I guess this is just like a fast travel system to unlock previously locked doors. Oh, excuse me. Okay, I unlocked it. Ooh, you can destroy the cutout. Can you open this? No. All right, where, where does this go? Oh, back to the very entrance. The very entrance. There are some entrances that are, mm, what? They're just a little entrance. That one was a very entrance right there. Extremely entrance. Okay, so I'm guessing this will probably end the demo, unfortunately. Oh. Secret. A cheat unlocked. A cheat? A cheat for the demo? A cheat tape. Oh, we're up here. Right. Elevator runs nine to five. I'm gonna check these. If you think I'm not checking these lockers, it was not worth it. There's nothing in there. Hey there, John here. Hey guys, it's John, except different phrasing. Thanks very much for playing this demo. I hope that you enjoyed yourself. Uh, my friendly neighborhood development is progressing fantastically. There'll be more to share soon. If you did enjoy, I'd really appreciate a wish list over on Steam. It goes a long, long way to making uh, MFN come to life. Got a different project you can check out too. Very different from this one, may strike your fancy. Oh, one other thing, might be worth taking a second look around the basement. See you soon. Wow. Oh. Ooh, well, this was very impressive. I don't know, I don't know these guys that developed it, but I feel like this was inspiration, perhaps taken from Bendy and the Ink Machine, and specifically, more recently, Poppy Playtime, and making it like a proper game. It is interesting, I, I, am, I am wondering how much of a hit this is gonna be, because the characters seem like they're, you know, they, they're given these names, they're all like, 
they're they're cute sort of kind of creepy if you're if you're if you think muppets are creepy but uh you know they they will look great uh, on merchandise but i i, I feels kind of more like this it has gameplay as a priority you know as impressive as like the first episode of poppy playtime was uh, it was only like well, like 12 15 minutes long and uh it was kind of, i mean like within seconds as i predicted merchandise nfts even uh were out for that thing and it was just like it was very clear from the jump what it was right but this i feel like it has more of like the, the gameplay seems to be more of a focus and i like that i like that i actually really enjoyed playing this demo can i also say it's worth mentioning that the first chapter of poppy playtime was about a third the length of this demo. I, I don't mean to do like too much uh, comparing, but but they're just so similar. They're all they're, they're like bendy likes is what I would call them. Cause cause when I played the first episode of Bendy Ink Machine, I was like blown away. I was like, this is so cool. This is so different. And then as it went along, it kind of just morphed into more of the same to me. But uh, this this kind of scratches the itch that I've felt since the first episode of Bendy but actually it seems to be like satisfying it in some way and it, it seems to be moving forward in a more positive direction. So I don't know, again, I don't, I don't like, uh, I'm not trying to like, you know, compare too much, but it's just, I can't help but notice the similarities. Uh, but yeah, I really liked it. Like, on a, like it, it's, it's funny, it, it's funny, like it, legitimately humorous. The stuff that I saw in this, the everything from the sock puppet to the to the random lines that they were saying, which by the way, so many voice lines for these Muppets. They have so many, th I don't think I heard the same thing twice, maybe I did, maybe I heard the same thing like a couple times, but they just babble so much and there's so many voice lines, it's very cool. And I think this does it right, where it's like, it, it's like comedy horror, but it's got enough of like a creepy edge to it that it still has the proper atmosphere. And that's something that a lot of the similar games have struggled with, I think, is that it, it's it's a genre, this type of game, this type of setup is like, it's it's ripe for comedy. And like, if you look at comedy in Bendy, nothing. There's nothing funny in Bendy. Poppy Playtime, there's nothing funny in Poppy Playtime. But this game actually has some funny to it, which it just, it, it just takes it to another level for me. I think that comedy horror is very underlooked, especially in video games. There's, there's very little out there. But yeah, uh, all those uh, rabbit trails aside, very impressed with the demo. We'll be picking up the game as soon as it comes out. Like, really fun. Gameplay was great. Uh, I loved the Muppets. I loved all the, you know, I mean, the notes and stuff, whatever. I don't really care too much about, like, the story, frankly. But the, the you know, all the dialogue and the, the mechanics of everything and the puzzles were good. I mean, just really very positive uh, review for this. I think it's awesome. Yeah, let me know what you thought about the My Friendly Neighborhood demo. Eager to read your thoughts on it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.